Who am I? It's a question that never gets old. It doesn't get old for me, probably not for you. We see it a lot in the way kids use social media, like Facebook and other social networks, with the kinds of self-portrait pictures that they take. Selfies. So it got me thinking, how do we capitalize on the fact that kids like to take so many selfies and share them? As they try to construct their identity online, like so much of what they're doing online is accumulating friends or follows or likes or plus ones or whatever it is, as they try to construct an identity that aligns with the way they see themselves or the way they'd like to see themselves. So how can we as teachers help those kids construct, the, help kids construct their identities in ways that are positive and ways that they can be proud of and models kind of a learning disposition? So here's the thought. What if they took a selfie and as they're in English class or history or whatever, as they're reading stuff, take note of a striking thought, a quote that really resonates with them, they create that selfie and put that quote on it. And we'll call this a methinks. Methinks is kind of a pretentious way of saying, this is what I think. But aren't selfies pretentious in the first place? What if in math class, you know, there's something that comes up and the kid says, gee, I really didn't understand that. And then at some point they find out something clicks and they get it. So what if they took a selfie and creates a methinks, I thought, but now I know and use that frame. As we help them to construct an identity and share these selfies, or these methinks, in meaningful ways online, that make not only a contribution to the learning of others, but helps the kids start to construct their own identity in a meaningful and positive way. And if you've watched the video this far, wish me congratulations on a 100. Cheers.